Hey, hey everybody, it's Mr. Z. Uh, today we're going to learn uh, to rewrite some equations in graphing form, and the strategy is called completing the square. Um, if we do have a problem that's in graphing form with uh, a parentheses, uh, you can easily find the vertex. So we've talked about in class how we try to get this group to zero. So we want the x to be negative 5. What happens when you plug in negative 5? You get 0, 0 squared minus 4. 0 minus 4 is negative 4. So it's really easy to find the vertex. I'm going to quick go to Desmos and prove that x plus 5 squared minus 4. x plus 5 squared minus 4 does indeed have a vertex at negative 5 comma negative 4. So it's super easy to find the vertex if we have it in graphing form, especially like we do on these other ones, right? Get that parentheses to zero, that would be a positive one. And then you take this y value or the vertical shift over here as the y of your vertex. Negative three, again, trying to get that group to zero. And then we have the negative 10 brought down for free. Thank you very much. That's the y of the vertex. Today we're going to look at if there are no parentheses, it's not as easy. So we're going to learn this trick that's called completing the square. I'm going to give you hopefully a visual reminder and then we'll do some algebra uh, to go ahead and make sure that we can get problems in this graphing form, complete the square, so we can find the vertex uh, really easily. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and work with uh, this first problem right here. So in completing the square, I'm going to use the idea of the visual of generic rectangles. If you've never used these, it's used in factoring and multiplying and distributing. It's just a way to visualize if you're a visual learner. So if I've got x squared here, awesome. We know that that comes from x times x. Okay? Now this is called a generic rectangle, but if you want to complete the square, if you want to get uh, to these equations up above, the parentheses have to be squared. right? So we need to find a way to get the same thing on both the base and the height. So I've got uh, 10x's, so I already got my x squared, now I've got 10x's. The only way for this to be a square is if I do 5x's and 5x's. It's got to be split up evenly, so that x times 5 here will give me that 5x's, and then x times 5 will give me the 5x's, and now I have a square because it's x plus 5 and x plus 5, it's the same on both sides. Okay? So I'm halfway to completing the square, I have x plus 5, as a perfect square. Now, if I complete the square, go down here and complete the square, 5 times 5 is 25, that is not what we have up here in our problem. So, how far off are we? You want to think about any time like, how far off is my age from your age? Well, you would subtract those. So, how far off is my 25 from the 21? I'm just going to go ahead and subtract that. 21 minus 25 is negative 4. I don't have to do this generic rectangle. I just wanted to set that up and give you the visual. Uh, we have completed the square. This right here is the same equation as this one right here, and I really only needed like one little line of work. And I'm going to go ahead and prove to you, because this was actually our little warm-up problem up above, x plus 5 squared minus 4, and that's what we have for completing the square. So I'm going to go back to Desmos. And I'm going to go ahead and add in the problem we just tried, x squared plus 10x plus 21. And you can see in red that that is the same equation as the other one. Looks like it's showing up black, but there we go. It's showing up red, the same equation as that one right there in black. Right? So those are the same exact graphs. We can see no matter, uh, they have the same vertex. So, we completed the square with minimal work right here. I'm going to go ahead and do that again just so you can kind of see the work as to what you do in order to complete the square. We want to get x squared, so we're going to have x in parentheses. It's going to be squared. Check. I need 10 x's, but in that square drawing, it's going to split evenly, so I only need a positive 5 on each side. And if I have 5 x's on one side and 5 x's on the other, that gives me that 10 x. Now I can complete the square. If I don't have the drawing over to the side, all that I do to complete the square is I look right here. What is 5 squared? 25. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and subtract 25 to see how close or how far I was. 21 minus 25 is negative 4. I've officially completed the square. It's as simple as that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next problem, which has some negatives in it. 
we've still got x squared. I'm just going to go ahead and leave a little line so I can do that subtraction in a second. Only need one line of work really for this. The trick. I need x squared. Put x in parentheses. Okay. I've got negative two x's. That's going to be split evenly in the square. So I need negative one on each side. If I have negative one x on one side, negative one x on the other, that gives me negative two x. Check. So I just took half of that number. Complete the square. I want to go ahead to complete the square. Negative one squared is a positive one. But we always see how far off that we are. So we're going to subtract. So whenever you square any number, it's going to turn positive. But the trick in completing the square is we need to subtract that number to see how far off we are. Now we have negative 15 and negative 1. That is negative 16. By the way, this was our other warm-up problem. So if you haven't done this yet, I'm really just connecting this problem that's really easy to find the vertex and this problem where it's not so easy. But I do the completing the square trick and then I have the same answer that we had up above. So you can look at this last one. We're going to hope to get x plus 3 squared and then minus 10. Take a look at this problem. How can we get x squared? I'm going to leave a little bit of room for work. But x into parentheses squared. How do I get 6x's? If I have 3 on each side, 3x's on one side, 3x's on the other, then I need to complete the square. 3 squared is 9. Is that what I had originally? No. So I subtract 9 to see how far away I am. Negative 1 and negative 10. Sorry. Negative 1 and negative 9 is negative 10. I was jumping ahead because that is our answer that was up above. All right. So completing the square, not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple problems that might be a little bit different uh, for you. Leave some room for work. The x squared. Easy. For the 5x, I take half of that, and that is 2.5, and now you might see how it's a little bit difficult. I just went ahead and grabbed my calculator so I can complete the square. 2.5 squared is 6.25. Is that what we have in the original? No. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 6.25. 20 minus 6.25 gives me a positive 13. 0.75, which is great because now I have the vertex on a very uh, I don't know, difficult problem, but as decimal. The vertex would be negative 2.5. That would take me to zero. And then I bring down this y for free. Boom. Thank you very much. There's my vertex. See how easy it is to find the vertex after you completed the square. Cool. On the next one, we got a little bit of a curveball, but we're going to do the same thing that we've been doing. We're going to leave a little bit of room for work. We've got x squared. Put x squared in parentheses. Check. Now I've got 20x. I need half of that split up so it is a square. I'm going to have 10 on each side. 10x and 10x will give me 20x. I go ahead and complete the square. 10 squared is 100. Cool. Is that what I have? Nope. I'm going to go ahead and subtract 100. From what? Well, I kind of had plus zero here. So now I have negative 100 and I've completed the square. Now we go to the last one, and we're doing the same thing. We're leaving some room for work. Set up the parentheses with that x, get that x squared. Thank you very much. I need to get four x's in a square. That's going to be two on each side. Two and two is four. Complete the square. Two squared is four. Is that what I have originally? Nope. I'm going to go ahead and subtract four uh, to see how far off that is. And I got negative nine. So there's completing the square. A bunch of problems in under 10 minutes. Hopefully that helps you out and it helps you find the vertex very, very easily uh, if you don't already have parentheses in your problem.